Hello, Michael. Our network of student radio stations across the country are very excited about your music, and we have given you a spot on the Student Music Network class of 2023. Would you mind introducing yourself and describing the music you make? Of course. Thank you so much, Christian. My name is Michael, and I make, like, electro-pop music. Amazing. And so how did you get started with music? Is it something you've been doing for a little while, or is it a recent endeavour? Oh, no, yeah, I've been doing it for, for, for absolutely years. Since I was, like, seven, I started singing. So, you know, I'm... I'm I've been slogging away for a while now. Yeah, uh, you've so been to work on it. Yeah, oh yeah, for sure. Um, but it's my passion, so it's yeah. cool, and it's cool to get some recognition from from you guys. No, exactly. But you only started releasing music last year, and you've made such a splash with it already, which is which is great. True. Yeah. Well, I appreciate that. Um, yeah, a lot of the stuff came out last year, and we've got a lot of new stuff coming mm. in, in the next year as well. So it's really exciting. Um, yeah. And it's good. It's all getting better. I can feel it getting better. It does feel that Do you know way. I mean? Not, you know, no, no distaste to your previous music, but it does feel like mm. the new stuff is really you're hitting the mark yeah. with it for sure. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Which is great. So, so last year you put out your EP Naval Gazing, which I thought was great. But I feel like Thank since you. then your sound has developed so much since putting that out. So mm. when you're looking for new inspiration, sort of sonic changes, where do you tend to draw inspiration from, production wise? Do you know what? It depends. I mean, my biggest inspirations are like the 1975 Bastille, um, the Killers. Mm -hmm. So I think they all kind of are ever present in the kind of melting pot. But I'll kind of, I don't know, like it, it, any, every, everyone's inspired by everything now, right? Yeah. But also whatever, like I'm not that good at producing. So mm -hmm. whatever, like that constrains me to whatever yeah. I can kind of come up with. But like when I work with other people, that, that kind of widens, which is cool, um, which I'm doing a little bit more of now. Um, but yeah, like for this next EP and stuff, it's it's a lot like me just on the piano and, and taking the songs from there. But That's yeah. really cool. Because you, do you go into the studio with producers and be like, okay, can we get a little bit more or a little bit more like zzz? Do you know what I mean? Exactly that. I literally go in, I'm like, we need a little bit more of... A um, little bit of like Matthew Healy on there, a little twinkly bit. Do you know what I mean? Like, I just play them loads of, like, songs. And it's basically every song I've ever done is, like, yeah. trying to be a 1975 song and then just falling far short. And then, mm -hmm. like, that's it. But it doesn't feel like that, at least with the recent stuff. I just you feel like, so? you know, you're, you're in your own avenue now, which is great. I appreciate that. Yeah, no, well, I, th I think so. But I think that's what everyone does, right? They they, they have idols, they try and be like them, mm. and then they have their own quirks. So I, I think starting starting out like that is totally natural, but then finding your own space in the industry is, is a really good place to be. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And I think I'm, I'm getting there. I think, like, when I first started releasing, I was like, right, this is, I'm done, I'm ready, da, 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 da. But, like, there is a lot of growth, and there probably still will be more, and I hope so, because that means you're learning and getting. Right, we've moved to the toilet, but you've had a massive few months, two singles ahead <laughs> out of a new EP, which we'll talk about a little bit. But your most recent single, Bleak, is lyrically, it's very deeply personal. So could you tell us a little bit about that track and what it's about? Yeah. Now? Of course, um, Bleak is, yeah, Bleak is, you're right, it's one of the most personal songs I've ever written. Um, it's obviously about a, a subject matter that is quite, not taboo, but it's 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 deep, do you know what I mean? It's about mm. suicide and suicidal thoughts. And I still find it weird talking about it because it's so deep. That's kind of why I write songs, because I can't talk about things that yeah. well, and then I'll put them in a song and then I can play it to like my family or whatever, and, and they can kind of understand more or whatever. So that was, it was a song that like, obviously I felt I needed to write at the time. Um, but, 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 and then putting it out is a whole different kettle of fish. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like how will people react to it? But the reaction has been really strong and a lot of the, a lot of the um, messages that I've got have been really heartfelt and, and it's kind of, it's, Obviously not good that people are going through that stuff, but if you are going through that stuff to be able to connect on it and feel like you're not alone, that is that is something that I'm, I'm proud of. Um, so yeah, because a lot of a lot of my music is kind of like tongue in cheek and a little bit mm -hmm. like not There's too a little bit serious. of humor to it normally. Yeah, do you know what I mean? But this one was super deep. Yeah. And um, so to see people kind of come on that kind of like move with me for that was cool. Um, I and I'm really excited to play that live especially to see how that goes because there'll be a different feeling live to play that one than your usual stuff which like you say a little bit tongue-in-cheek a little bit of humor in there so this felt like a real outlier for you but it was lyrically it was a much more hard-hitting track yes definitely I think like in fairness a lot of the stuff 
off the upcoming EP is about not about that specifically, but like yeah. touches on mental health and stuff like that, which my music previously hasn't done as much. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's strange because a couple of the songs that I've had on the that are coming on the EP, I've had for like years and just like haven't it hasn't been the right time to release them. And now it's like feels good. Um so I'm 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 really proud of the, the theme that runs through the EP. And hopefully if people want to kind of listen out for that and, and, and connect to that and just kind of I hope it just helps some people do you know what I mean. Yeah, like absolutely. You, you never know, but 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 you know. And so those running cool. themes throughout, you mentioned that music allows you to do things that you can't necessarily talk about. Is it a little bit cathartic, like some sort of therapy session for you when you're writing? Yeah, for sure. It's um, it's very, yeah, it's very cathartic. It's yeah. like the best, the best feeling. And the worst feeling is when you can't articulate what you want or the song doesn't come. And that's, that's equally as jarring as finally getting it is good. So it's like you're always, it's like chasing a high, do you know mm. what I mean? Um, but sometimes, sometimes like it doesn't happen. But for Bleak, like I went in to the studio, just sat down, and it just kind of happened because the emotion was so strong. But it doesn't always happen like that. Yeah. But um, it's really nice when it does, I guess, because you're like, what the hell just happened? And oh yeah. So when you're in a point of writer's block, how do you tend to break through that? Is there any way that you, any method that you've got to inspire yourself or break past that? It's tough. I mean, I, I don't think there's a surefire way. It's like every time it happens, because I feel like it happens a lot for me, mm. but every time it happens, just you either take a break or you keep going. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? If I feel like I just haven't lived life enough to, to have anything to write about, then I'll go and try and, you know, live life. Go and live a little bit. Um, yeah, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, go out, do something. Um, because that's the thing that I like about writing. Like, even if it's a bad experience or whatever, you can turn it into mm. something, into a song. So nothing's ever wasted, really, as long as the song is good, um, which is probably a bit unhealthy because then you kind of, like, fling yourself into situations that, you know, aren't, aren't good, but you're like, it's fine, do it for the song. Do you know what I mean? I um, suppose so, but it also means your songs are very honest and they're very, you know, true to what you are and who you are. Yes, for sure. Like, um, yeah, I love being honest in my songs. I I, I can't really, um, I haven't found a way yet not to. Yeah. To an extent, do you know what I mean? There's always got to be. That haven't happened to you necessarily. Yeah. There's got to be like a seed of of truth in it. Mm. And then you can go from there. Yeah, which makes it much more authentic, I feel. And then when you're performing that, it feels like it's much more true to you. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Yeah. And so then your next EP, Socialising, comes out in November, which is super exciting. So what can we expect from it production-wise, thematically? You know, you've talked a lot about mental health. Is it? Is that a theme that runs all the way through? Yes. Uh, yes, it is. So basically, socialising is a group of songs that kind of are all... They encompass, like, a lot of my personality over mm. the past, like, two years. Like, so I obviously... I mean, I, I dropped out of uni um, in first year to, to, to do music more. Um, so it's, like, talking about that um, and, and how, like transitioning from from that was hard um and and also yeah just the 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 strains that I guess it's I say like doing music can have but I think that speaking to more people and like speaking to my my mom about it is like Mm. the the themes that are in there like there's a song called stress um and stuff like that um that is with any any do you know what I mean Yeah, yeah yeah do you know what I mean so there's, there's a lot of that, but then there's also some, like, there is like, a couple tongue-in-cheek songs like Polaroid and Hangover mm-hmm. that are a little bit brighter. So it's got, like, a... It's got, it's like got a, a nice good range. It, it shows off you your versatility, I mean? yeah. Yeah, absolutely. fingers crossed. And so this week you're headed out on your headline tour, which is amazing. Mm-hmm. So how are you feeling ahead of that? Nervous, scared, worried, excited? Um, mostly excited. Mm-hmm. Like, usually I get a lot ner- a lot nervous, very nervous. Yes. Yeah. Um, but... And, and I'm sure I will before the shows, but at this point, it's kind of a nice point where we're in rehearsals um, and we're putting the show together and it's just really cool to see, like, the new songs in the set. The set's a lot longer than it ever has been. Mm. So, fingers crossed my voice holds up. Like, I'm just absolutely gobbling honey like yeah. it's nothing. Um, but, yeah, so I'm really excited. And, 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 and that is, again, like, writing and performing are the two best feelings. Like, mm. I, I, I can't... I, 
Ecco, pizza.